Hey everyone, Edward here again. I want to do another video basically showing another method of installing Windows 7 on Ryzen, Skylake, KB Lake, Coffee Lake, newer Intel and AMD CPUs. I did previously do another video on uh, one method of how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and shoot out another method since a couple of questions are still coming in to me on how to go ahead and do this. And obviously not every motherboard can follow the PS2 mouse slash keyboard method. So this here's another method over here that I'll go ahead and show you. It is going to require you downloading a tool. Um, one particular motherboard manufacturer was really kind enough to actually manufacture a tool that's a lot easier to do this manually. And you can go ahead and download this. You'll definitely need two website. things to do this method. Number one, you'll need a Windows 7 or Windows 8 installation disk, whether it's an original or copy or backup copy. Totally up to you, just as long as the files are accessible. And you will also need a USB thumb drive. I highly recommend at least 8 gigabytes or more. Um, this process actually uses a little less, but it's a good idea to actually have that amount just as a minimum to pay how many files are copied over and what options you click. So Gigabyte was really awesome to provide a tool, and I'll definitely shoot a link in the description below, where it preps your USB thumb drive to install Windows 7 and Windows 8. Now obviously people have been using these uh, thumb drives for installation of OSs for some time now. But this tool, in addition to doing that, will also inject USB drivers and as well as SATA drivers in there. So once you boot up your computer, your new board with CPU, with the USB thumb drive and you get the installation going, your keyboard and mouse will work and they'll still continue to work after the installation is complete, leaving you just the need to install the chipset drivers and other drivers with ease. Much more streamlined, I guess you can say. So I basically here just looked up a random X470 Ryzen motherboard on Gigabyte's website. And um, if we hit on support, we'll get obviously all the drivers and whatnot. Um, you can hit you know, Windows 7 here, Windows 8, whichever one you want. And we hit on utility, scroll all the way down, and look for Windows USB installation tool. Go ahead and download this. You get a little zip file or raw file. Go ahead and decompress it, and we get this tool right here. Go ahead and open this up, and this will be your tool that will allow you to create your thumb drive. It'll probably take about a good 25 30 minutes, possibly a little more. Go ahead and insert your original disk. In this case, we already have one in here. And go ahead and enter your thumb drive. Again, it should be a blank thumb drive with files that you don't mind losing or it's completely formatted. This tool will probably format it anyway, so anything, any data on those thumb drives will be lost. 8 gigabytes or more, I highly recommend again. Once you have everything here ready, you can hit refresh if you just insert it after you open the tool. This is obviously add USB drivers to offline Windows 7 image is checked by default. That's obviously really important. If you were planning to use this installation thumb drive to, ins to install it on an SSD, one of these new future SSDs, then this would actually be a good thing to check too. Uh, for the time being, I'm only just going to leave this one, one thing checked here. Once you're ready to go, thumb drive is completely empty, you have nothing to lose on it, and you're good to go. You can go ahead and click start. Now there are going to be a couple of times where you're going to see Windows popping up saying files are being copied, etc, etc. You're going to probably see that a number of times. And again, this whole process will take a good 30 minutes or so. Um, even if the DVD drive is no longer accessing from the computer anymore, your process is not over. You'll definitely see the process down here and it'll be like a step 9 out of 9 or whatnot telling you your thumb drive is complete. So. Over here, I already have a thumb drive that's already been created. So why don't we go ahead and plug it into, in this case, a Ryzen motherboard and CPU without doing any other prep work and see how it goes. So here we have a thumb drive that I prepped with the Gigabyte tool. And I've only, like I said earlier, I've only selected the USB drivers to be injected into this particular Windows 7 build in this case. So let's go ahead and plug it into our old friend here. Looks familiar, huh? I'm also going to plug in my little wireless adapter for another friend you've guys seen in another video as well too, a little keyboard and mouse combo. Now I do have a keyboard, a regular keyboard and mouse plugged into this computer already, but just want to actually have two pairs of uh, 
input devices as well, inserted as well too. Everything plugged in. Oh, this is the keyboard we'll be using here, and this mouse. Let's go ahead and hit F11 in this case to select a boot device. We have our regular hard drive secondary hard drive my computer this computer uses and our USB thumb drive so we'll go ahead and select this one and as usual anyone's ever tried to install Windows 7 or Windows 8 on these newer CPUs and boards usually get this far and either keyboard and mouse don't work or you don't even see a hard drive so let's see where we go with this tool now Keep in mind, once you get the screen here, give it a good 20 or 30 seconds just for the stuff to kick in. <laughs> but you will see, using my regular mouse over here, it works as well too. And just to show, show, show and tell here, turn this on. Even the wireless device works as well, too. So let's go ahead and hit next. We'll just pick anything because I'm actually not going to install anything right now. And you'll see we actually have access to our hard drives as well too, so no additional drivers need to be installed. Now don't forget, once you're done here, still very important to install chipset drivers first thing. Uh, I'm not sure if these USB drivers are some sort of generic USB 3 drivers, but I highly recommend still installing chips. I mean, that's given, obviously. And here we have Windows 7 just booming up normally with the uh, hard drives already loaded with the operating system. Really hope you guys found this video useful. I definitely do enjoy uh, making videos of little advice, tidbits, and other little workarounds for Windows 7, Windows 8 issues, and also installation issues as well too. I don't believe new hardware should really get in the way of uh, enjoying the operating system you desire to use until of course it's uh, no longer supported. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, definitely shoot a like, share, it's definitely good information. Uh, any particular helpful links that I mentioned in the videos or other links, I'll definitely put in the description below. Um, subscribe if you want to see more tidbits and advice videos, I'll definitely be posting some more. And, uh, yeah, just for show and tell. Again, here we have, whoops, didn't mean to make it. Windows 7 Ryzen, 2700 CPU running Windows 7 64 bit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.